Hey guys, so this is going to be my really quick review on the Chi 44 Iron Guard. Um, so this is a heat protectant spray, and if you know me, then you know I've never used, I've never really used a heat protectant spray before. Maybe like once, ever, but um, it's not really something I invest in just because I don't like hair products in general for the most part, other than my Frederick Fakai Glossing Cream, um, just because I feel like hair should be like soft and touchable and have movement. I don't think it should be like stiff and, you know, have all this hairspray and stuff in it, but... I don't know, I just, out of curiosity, kind of wanted to see, you know, if it would make a really big difference if I used it before I flat ironed my hair. Um, so this is usually around $12 or $13, depending on where you buy it from. I know it's available at Target. It's available at a lot of beauty supply stores. Um, it's also available online. Follica sells this as well. Um, you know, pretty much anywhere that sells hair, hair care products is going to sell this. Um, so I have been using a cheap flat iron, but for the most part, I am wary of products that are made by companies that are known for another product, like a flat iron, you know. Just because they make good flat irons doesn't make them make good hair care. But I decided to try it just because it is very controversial. Some people really love it and some people hate it. So I'll first go off of the things I like about it. So the things I like about it is I do think that it made everything stick a little better. Um, I do think it made my ends a little bit smoother. I think it made my hair look shinier. So I do like it. Um... And it is a lot of product for the money, you know, for 12 13 bucks, and it's 8.5 fluid ounces, that's pretty good. Um, it would probably last me a few months, and I have a lot of hair. So what I did was I sprayed it two times in my hand, and then I ran it through the top and bottom of my hair, just everywhere over my hair, and that's it, just two sprays for my whole head. Um, a lot of people complained about stickiness with this, or their hair being, like, crunchy. Usually when your hair is, like, wet or greasy looking from a product, it's because you put too much on. So don't put too much on. I think it's easier, it's better to apply it in your hands and then apply it throughout your hair rather than just spraying it on your hair because then if you just spray it on your hair then it's very easy to like oversaturate your hair, you know? Um, like I said, I only needed two sprays for my whole head. Um, so I do like it. I do think it works. The only thing I don't like about this um, is the smell. So it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad in any way, but it just it smells like a boy. It smells like a dude. Oh my God. If I wanted to smell like a dude, then I would be a dude. But if you're buying heat protectant spray and you're using a flat iron, you're probably a girl. And I know there are some boys that like to flat iron their hair and all, but it seriously makes you smell like a dude. Like when you hug one of your guy friends that's just like dows themselves in cologne, it's like total overkill. It's like that's how long it lingers for. It lingers for like a few hours. Like whenever my hair passes my, my face, I can smell it. Um, or like... If it smells like strong enough, like as if you're like borrowing like your boyfriend's jacket or something. You know how you can smell the cologne a little bit? It's kind of like that. It's pretty much that's like the equivalent. Um, so I personally, I w I'm going to use it up and I'm going to keep using it. And it's made me interested in other heat protectant sprays. Like it doesn't totally turn me off from these. But I wouldn't repurchase it personally. And I wouldn't recommend it just because I feel like the smell is weird. Just because it doesn't smell bad, but it smells like a boy. Very strongly of a boy. Like if you lift it up and smell it, just lift it up and smell it, you guys will see. Straight up boy. Like old spice body wash or something. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much it. So yeah, so if the smell doesn't bother you, then uh, but I just I'm pretty sure there's better out there, so I'm not gonna recommend it. So that's pretty much it. Really quick review and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.